you're watching Fridays here at Backyard Tech. It's Friday morning. Who's up for a coffee and a chat? That time of the week here at Backyard Tech. Time for a coffee chat. How are we all? It is coffee chat time here at Backyard Tech for a Friday morning. And a little bit to get you through with this week's coffee chat. A few bits and pieces here at Backyard Tech and a few bits and pieces over at the AOT Facebook group as well. But it is coffee chat time, so time for a cup, right? Oh, that's better. That's much better. Alrighty, let's... um. Let's head over, as we always do, to the Backyard Tech YouTube channel, bringing you up to speed with what's happened during the week. As you can see, we kicked it off with a weekly wrap-up. We did uh, some audio-visual stuff on Sunday as well. We had the convo. It hasn't been a bad week. Um, we did Tech News today, more trouble for Windows 10, and Western Digital being forced to admit regarding SMR. The convos have been all right. Q&A and advice, uh, Steinberg versus Avid, and why I prefer Steinberg, because I do. Uh, we had the midweek update. We uh, we had a first time in a while, we had a tech acquisitions video this week as well. Um, Google Meet now being free, and uh, Apple and Google coming together to test their COVID exposure notification API. We um, tested out the new digital video camera with a teardown of that motherboard that went pop. And uh, so not all that bad. Probably end up with about 25 videos out for the week, uh, which I think is going to be the new norm here at Backyard Tech, um, to be honest with you, because things are so quiet at the moment that it's very hard to find anything going on, basically. So I think at the present point in time, um, we'll uh, we'll look at it to aim for 25 videos a week here at Backyard Tech. So not a bad week so far here at the Backyard Tech channel. A um, few bits and pieces going on, but as I said, you know, you've always got projects in the pipeline. It's just you can't really video them until they're done, technically speaking. Over at AOT, though, it's been fairly active this week. A few bits and pieces going on um, since our last coffee chat. Apple, uh, I, I basically started the uh, last Friday off with the breaking news regarding Apple selling Macs with their own CPUs based on the A14 chips out of this year's iPhone. Paul's been busy with HBX 2020, um, I'll bring you up to speed with that shortly for those that aren't around. Um, I, of course, shared, uh, obviously, I do, you know, AV stuff as well, and Macintosh's MTI 100 turntable wins the Hi-Fi Plus Editor's Choice Award for 2020, and from what I gather, this turntable is absolutely off the charts, to be honest with you. What I've seen in videos and read, it's phenomenal, this thing. Really crystal clear. But then everything from Macintosh is. Greg's, uh, Greg's been busy as well. A few bits and pieces going on with him. Um, also CentOS. Now, I mean, technically with Neth Server, which is what I run, it does sit atop CentOS 7. Um, I don't know whether they'll go to 8 yet. I haven't seen it. And whether there's some sort of upgrade path to CentOS 8. Not sure yet. Nintendo confirmed uh, that uh, over 160,000 uh, Nintendo accounts accessed in hacking attempts. And, jeez, I tell you what, you've got to be careful these days, guys. You really do. So I've been fairly active this week. Um, oop, that's not what I wanted. That is. Um, Greg shared one of his top 10 uh, channels. I've been hanging around 8-Bit Guy for some time now. Really good channel. Um, does a lot of the old Commodore stuff too, which is really good. Um, 
more stuff from Paul. Uh, he's been getting a lot of help with HBX 2020, which is fantastic. And you can expect a video from Old Mate on it. Greg's been sharing this. I don't... I haven't watched this channel. I'm not familiar with it. We had some new members join up. Jonathan Patrick and Megan Tapanio, Tapano, Tapano, Piano, I should, I don't know, you guys, those who follow me over at YouTube know I can't pronounce names, but uh, we had some more members join up, which was nice. Greg's been fairly busy, which is nice to see. Guillermo's been learning Ansible. Now, I tried to get my head around Ansible, and I had absolutely no idea how to do it. We knew that ages ago. More members. Ivan's been around. Sean Russell's been uh, been looking at things, and I, I suggested um, I use ESA's to do uh, for the main PC at least. Um, I published that this week. We also had who else did we join? Oh, Dave Carlson joined as well. So welcome to all our new members from old mate. Um, Clint over at LGR, the Windows ME now. I've mentioned this before and I put a comment on it. I refuse to even admit Windows ME existed. I think it's as bad as Vista. Um, I, I, I've mentioned this many times, especially here at Backyard Tech, that I will not accept Windows ME or Vista as um, legitimate operating systems from Microsoft's point of view because I had nothing but absolute carnage and chaos with both those operating systems especially vista if you it was all i always had problems both under 32 and 64 bit versions i always had issues and me i just hated i deleted me and wound back to um well one computer i wound back one computer i put to 2000 Um, Matthew Wraith, now for my internet, for our international people, Australia has the COVID safe app. I've mentioned why I've got it and why the other half's got it. So I won't go through all that. Mike's been after some help with server admin questions. So he's got some help out of that, which is nice. Um, pure virtual C++. I don't even want to watch that video, unfortunately, but a lot of programmers might. Paul's looking at getting HBX out shortly. Now, unfortunately, he had a bit of a foul up with HBX. We'll have a look at that shortly. I shared uh, tech news today. Paul accidentally balked um, HBX 2020. He's having to redo it from scratch, but he knows where he went wrong. So the OS will be out sometime very soon, which will be nice. And then I just shared this not that long ago, some 25 minutes ago. Uh, Lenovo will now do what Dell and System76 and others uh, are also doing, and that's offering Linux laptops, basically. Which is showing that... I, I, the first time I ever heard about anyone doing it was System76. I wasn't even aware Dell was involved in it, to be honest with you. I had no idea. Um... But it's interesting to see, isn't it? The fact that you're now getting like large-scale manufacturers, the likes of Lenovo, offering up ThinkPads with Fedora. Now, my worry here is, is that if it is Fedora with GNOME 3, and I know we all know how heavy GNOME 3 is in comparison to even KDE, and you can lighten it up, Um, but it's interesting they picked Fedora Workstation. Our System76 Popos sits on, I think it's Ubuntu. I haven't looked at Popos for ages. Um, but I was just intrigued about that because I don't know any other manufacturer out there that offers up, other than IBM with Red Hat, 
on their on their mainframes and enterprise servers. And obviously Oracle loosely basing their original UEBK or UBEK I should say off Red Hat. Um, I don't know any manufacturer that offers Fedora. I could be wrong, but I know I don't know anyone. So I'm not I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying I wasn't aware. And now, I knew Dell had offered a couple of things. I haven't followed Dell, uh, at least at the domestic end of the market. Um, but Lenovo, to offer up ThinkPads with Fedora. It's a little interesting, isn't it? Who to thunk that, eh? Now, before we um before we finish up this edition of the coffee chats, I want to get an idea of the viewers. Um, I'll do this here on the YouTube channel rather than over at the AOT Facebook group. How many of my viewers, who are also possibly members of the AOT Facebook group, are fed up with lockdown? How many? I know I am. I'm over it. I've, I've had enough of this. <laughs> I really, really have. But I'll put a poll out there. How many of you who are locked up, like us Victorians, or harder? Um, I know some of my Australian friends and viewers are coming out of lockdown. Or e I should say being eased out of lockdown. But how many of you are fed up with it? And I can tell you one thing. The world needs to think very carefully about how business is done these days. Now, some of my dearest friends, my personal friends who I've met through YouTube and that will know what I'm talking about. But I'll put a poll out, okay? How many of my viewers here at Backyard Tech who also are probably members of the AOT Facebook group, are sick and tired of being locked up. Let us know in the comments section below. You know the rules with the comments. So if it comes close to the line, I don't publish it. Simple as that. But there we are. Coffee chat for a Friday. Uh, now, before I also finish up, I should just mention, I'm charging the video camera at the moment. So once it's charged, all right, we will um, do that other networking addendum video uh, for the back of the uh, the back of my server cabinet. So that'll be coming up once the uh, video camera is charged. Apart from that, there we are. Coffee chat done. Stick around. More coming up here at Backyard Tech. Have a good Friday. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech. <laughs>